Hi there, welcome to the course. Congratulations on finding your way here and taking the first step in learning geology. I'm going to be your teacher. My name is DJ Lake, and I've had a pretty interesting involvement in geology over the years. As a child, I was nuts about rocks and fossils, and I spent all my time scrambling through the forests looking for them. And that never really stopped. I've spent the last few years quarrying semi-precious stones, rhodonite and jasper, making them into jewelry, and that's been a big part of my life. More formally, I've studied geology a lot in university, and especially mineral deposits, that's sort of my area, and most recently gemstone deposits, and that's what I'm going to be pursuing my master's in, is one aspect of gemstone deposits. So I've, I've come at it from both angles, artistically and philosophically, and also academically. Of course, I'm just a student as well. But I've had enough exposure with formal geological education that I feel very comfortable teaching this course, especially uh, the level of the concepts we're talking about. This is introductory stuff. Now, that doesn't mean it's easy. I don't hold back. Um, but it's it's not the really tough mathematical, scientific, and chemical stuff that we talk about at a higher level in geology, which quite frankly isn't of use unless you're trying to find mineral deposits. Um, for your interest, I think this course is going to be perfect. In essence, it's all the stuff that you might want to know as background information as a geologist, but it's not strictly necessary. This is the interesting why things are the way they are and how we know uh, what we do about the earth, rather than just studying the facts, the quantitative stuff that we would um, in geology courses, say, at university. So this is the fun stuff, and I think that's great because geology gets a bad reputation for being kind of boring, but in fact it isn't. And rocks, geology, the landscape, the nature of uh, our geological planet is, is fantastic. And it underlies everything that happens on Earth, from agriculture to city planning, everything. So I think it's really important for everyone to know a bit about it. So specifically, what we're going to talk about, I've split up the course into sections. The first section is time and context. Time in geology is a very different and interesting, often almost philosophical concept. And so to attack the problem of time, we're going to look into a bit of the history of geological insight and who the pioneers were in this field. Then we're going to go on to what rocks are, because they seem so solid and fundamental to our existence. but when we look into the nature of matter and chemistry, rocks sort of might change in your perspective when we go through that. So that's a whole other section. And it's, it's a heavy section. It's a good section. I'm, ha I'm very happy with how it turned out. After that, we'll talk about the oceans and the, the sort of physical expression of the geological processes that take place on the planet, how they manifest themselves in terms of mountains and continents and oceans. After that, we're going to talk about the big, the big theory, the theory of plate tectonics. And it's very interesting, and it often gets glossed over, but we're going to delve pretty deeply into that subject. And uh, I really hope you'll make it that far, because it, it is really the, the heart of geology. At the end, I've thrown in an interesting lecture on the Rocky Mountains, and I think that really ties all the concepts we've gone over together in a, in a real-world example uh, that wouldn't be explainable unless we'd gone over all the stuff previously in the course. And so it's a really nice summary, I think. Well, I'm excited to get going on this, and I can't wait to start teaching this stuff to you. So if you'll join me, let's go.